Morning, everybody. I'm on my own again. Right, this certain decorators, and I'm going to use the term loosely, very loosely, certain painters that seem to think that uh, it's okay to be splashing PVA about, sealing surfaces with PVA. Now, PVA is something, polyvinyl acetate, whatever it is, polyvinyl acetate, PVA, it's a glue. Right. Plasterers use it and builders use it. Now, I've got a prime example of a plasterer that's been a little bit liberal, say liberal, liberal with his PVA and splashed it all over the surfaces that I, as a decorator, anybody can paint, not everybody can decorate. Splash it all over the surface. Now I'm coming in to sort stuff out and I'm sanding it down. Now I want to give you this, this example is a prime example of what PVA does to a surface. I've always said it acts like a balloon skin and it literally is a balloon skin, whether it's thinned, diluted or neat. Right, if you can see this, I'm a cameraman, because I'm now paying a cameraman to cameraman me. Can you see this here? Can we see that cameraman, Brian? Just. It's just peeling. Now this area there, I've sanded with the murker. All this area here, there's PVA on it. Now it's gonna get a bit loud and I'll ed edit it the video but it won't be so loud. I'm only using a fine 180 on a Merca. Now, could be your eardrums. I'm gonna sand that area and show you what PVA does when you're sanding it down. And this is the same principle as when people seem to think that PVA over bare plaster or emulsion walls is acting as a sealer. It's not. Watch this. That's going in lightly and it's starting to peel it up. Now I'm going to go a bit harder because I need to get rid of that. See that it's still peeling now I've got a bit of work now to do to get rid of this it's all the way around the other side as well so you have to bear with me this is part of the job I've got to get rid of it but if you seem to think that PVA is suitable for a decorator stroke painter it's not it creates more problems than it's worth now yeah we'll blame the plasterers because oh, if they're a bit brighter, they've probably been into painting and decorating, but they're not. They go into plastering, don't they? So they don't know. They don't know the problems that we get when we come to do the painting side going over PVA. And this is typical where a plasterer's done patching up. They've gone a little bit liberal and splashed it all about. Well, now we've got to sort that out. Now, there's various options that we can do to sort it out. The first one that I'm going to do is actually sand it back as best I can and then the next part of the preparation for me is using Zinza Guards which is a problem for solving primer sealer it is not PVA don't think that you're saving money by using PVA instead of Zinza Guards now Zinza Guards is alkali resisting and when you've got bare plaster which is an alkali surface you need something alkali resisting emulsion paints alkali resisting PVA is not alkali resisting and that's why you're getting it peeling away as well. So what I'll be doing is sanding that back and then that area there, I'll be putting a brush full of Zinza Guards over it to seal it. Because don't forget, Zinza Guards also can be used over surfaces that have had wallpaper on. And if there's paste still on that surface, if you've not cleaned it down properly enough, it can fester. And once you start getting emulsion on and water, obviously water-based and paste are all well, they dissolve, don't they? So it starts flaking away. You don't want that. Zinza Guards would bind that and then it allows you to paint paint over it. So, yeah, what's my day going to be today? Sorting out other people's, um, I'm going to use the word cockle. We'll see. But yeah, bear with me. I'll get it right because there's the top men on the job. But no, my moan of the day is PVA. If you think PVA 
is suitable for this sort of work, getting it all splashed over your paintwork, you've got another thing coming. Or, let's put, a, put the question to you, why do you think PVA is suitable for the decorator? Because I'll tell you, the only time that a PVA is actually useful for the decorator, and Brian's going to spin his camera around, is where you've got chopping out. Now, if we were, there's going to be a plasterer coming in for this, but if we were sorting this out, we would di dilute some PVA, we'd prime all that out, because it acts as a primer sealer, because it stops the dustiness. I'm trying to put it in layman's terms. It stops all the dustiness of all that chopping out, getting into your filler mix. So what we would do is light PVA diluted down into there, let it dry, and then you can do your browning and your skimming to bring that forward and then final face filling. But we don't use it, mixing it into things like paints and fillers, and particularly splashing it around on walls like this because it causes problems. Just adding to it, I want to show you the other side. So I've got rid of my cameraman. Let's look at this. Can you see that? Just look how that's peeling off, and that is literally, I'll show you a lot. This here. All I can describe it as is, you know when you've been on holiday and you've got sunburn and you can peel your skin off, <clears throat> it's like that. So let's just try a bit more, let's see how far the... So that's disgusting. I'm going to turn around so it's behind me. But this isn't just when plasterers have been in. We get this when we go back to jobs where, well, we go back to a job, so it's where we go to jobs where they've had somebody in who seems to think that new plaster can be PVA'd before they've done any painting. Or it's even PVA'd it, and I don't mean tub paste, I'm on about actual PVA that you buy in a five litre container that builders would use, you buy it from all your builders' merchants, but people seem to think that if they wash coat bare plaster with PVA, that will give them a sound base. Well, it, it does make a nice surface to work over because it makes it shiny because that's the bloom skin. But when you come back and you've stripped wallpaper off and you can tell that PVA is under the surface because it, it acts like this, it starts shelling off. Because your PVA is water-based, it softens back up with the moisture of your paint or the um, stripping of the wallpaper. But then when that dries and you come back with a murker to try and sand it all off, this is what you can come up against. And then you've got a problem surface to be dealing with because you don't want that PVA on because it's not going to be the surface that you want to be working over. But I'll say on that note, I'm going to leave it there. I've only moaned about PVA. If you can justify PVA, put some comments below. But I can't see any purpose of using PVA. And yeah, I keep going on about being at college. It's not something taught at college either. It's not in the textbooks. PVA is for builders and plasterers, not decorators. On that note, there's some videos probably at the side of me there. Also look at some of the linked videos that I've probably got over my left shoulder. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for listening.